All right, this is going to be a five minute video on Microsoft Excel using conditional formatting. Um, first, we're going to identify based on using coloring, we're going to identify the um, anyone who has a birthday today. So, what we're going to do is we're going to use some formulas to determine that. So, here's the month function. As you can see, month of D2 returns 10, so it's October. The uh, month of today returns 10, so that's the 10th, um, or it's, it's, it's October this month. And so if you evaluate them, you can use the if and say they equal true. And you can see the day of her birth date, the day today, and of course they'll evaluate true. And there are two ways you can compare them. And one is with a nested if that says if the two months are equal, the month of the birthday and the month of today, and next nest in if it's true then evaluate if the days are equal and then if so re return true you don't have to say return false after that's optional and it'll return false if it isn't so or you can use the and function and say we want to make sure the the months are going to be equal and the days are equal whichever way you want to look at that um, I think the and function works well enough for me so we'll go ahead and copy that and so this is how we use it we'll highlight Every, and we're, what we're going to do is, yeah, we're going to highlight everything. No, we're, we're going to highlight, and I'm going to show you why in a second. We're just going to highlight everything except the header. And then what we're going to do is go to conditional formatting, and we'll go to manage rules. And here, I'll show you how I got this rule. Basically, I went to conditional formatting, highlight cells, and said, like, equal to, set up something with equal to, just said OK. And then I went back. And I said, okay, now that the rule's created, I go and manage it. And now I'm going to edit that rule. And I moved it over to use a, a formula instead of using cells that contain. And, um, and so now we're going to paste. Um, we're going to paste. This was the nested if. But we're going to paste the, um, the and into here. Here we go. And so then this is going to now highlight um, anybody that has the same birthday. So we'll go ahead and apply it. And what do you know? It highlights um, Sarah Pardon. Pardon. Now, so here's the thing. Um, this formula, if I edit it and I look at it, it says, okay, um, number sign in front of the D, which means all these cells are going to qualify because as it's copied over, the um, this will say look at D2, this will say look at D2. They all say look at her birthday. And so it's going to highlight the entire cell. Um, the dollar sign is holding the D, and then the 2 allows when it's copied down um, each row is going to look at its own row so that's why they're dollar sign D2 on all the references for the month and the day so as easy as that we now have a conditional formatting that highlights whose birthday is today okay so now let's um, figure out how old they are right so we could say age now and then we can say alright um, let's just say this is going to be, um, we're going to take the age of today. We have to use the open and close there. And we're going to subtract, um, we're going to subtract their birthday. And so that will give the total number of days between the two. And then what we're going to do with that is divide by 365 and a quarter, thanks to the leap year. So now we're going to find out how many years old they are. Well, we're going to put this in integer form. So we're going to use the int function on everything there. Okay, so uh, Sarah is 32 years old. And of course, as we copy this straight down, I use um, control down on, on this uh, whatever column and control up once I moved over. And then so, boom, we have their ages. Now, let's say we want to highlight um, everybody whose age is um, let's say they're 30 or over, right? So we go back conditional formatting. So we're doing on time coming up on five minutes. Um, we use the highlight again, and we'll say greater than and 30. Okay, we'll use a different one. Let's say green, green light if you're over 30. Okay, so we've got the rule again, but again we need to manage it. Okay, and actually not just for the current. Let me just control oh, that's grabbing everything now I'm going to put a space in there control asterisks and we're a little going to go a little over five minutes but 
I'm trying to keep it nice and quick. So now we go to um, conditional formatting, manage, and so you can see the two rules are here. Let's go ahead and modify the, the red rule so that it, it evaluates out to the E column. Okay, so you can see now the red's going to go all the way over. It'll apply to the E column. And the green one will say edit, and we're going to make it, so I like to edit and, you know, get my hands in you know, the details of this. And so we're going to say, okay, when it says cell value is greater than 30, um, it's looking at every cell here greater than 30. So what we want to do is use specific formulas. And we'll say, okay, um, equals, and the cell value we're looking for is E2. And um, actually, I'm not sure. It is highlighting this one right here, so we're going to have to change it in a second. We're just going to say E1 because we're going to change the, the range in a second. So we'll say, okay, dollar sign E, because we want to go over all columns. 1 is uh, greater than, where's my greater than? And then 30. Okay, simple as that. So then it's going to highlight green. All right, so let's see what happens. Oh, oh yeah, and I'm going to change, uh, let's see, applies to, oh, it's not even choosing the one to apply to. So I'm going to have to change this in a second anyways. Let's just copy what this applies to and put it where the green applies to. Okay, so now that we got that, we'll go ahead and edit the rule again to make sure it doesn't, you know, change the row number there, which it did, because we changed what it applies to. And we'll say applies to, or actually this one starts at E2. Okay, so I hope you followed that. Go ahead and apply. And now we look and we see, okay, this, th this rule, since it's on top, is applied over the other one. So you can't really tell um, if the first rule applies to, the, to, to Sarah. So what we're going to have to do is if you want to see, um, if you want to see if the rule applies, we're going to need to change the formatting so that one of these two is consistent. We'll just say, okay, for the second one, um, we'll edit the rule and say, okay, uh, let's see where we say don't fill in no color fill in right so now what's going to do is make the text green okay oh yeah but it's overriding the fill okay wait hmm I guess the only w other way to well so I'm trying to just get the the two rules to to show in a way that I can see them both show and um, and I just told it to have no fill instead of not to apply a fill effect to it so that's not really doing exactly what I'm after um, yeah I can't really say I know how to to go over that right now how to beat that so you can have multiple fillings but I, I'm pretty sure there is a way to have multiple formats applying to a single cell so you can see what's um, each of the rules applying to them. So I'm pretty sure there's a way to do that, but um, I guess you're going to have to Google it and figure it out. Anyhow, thanks for watching. Uh, we did go a bit over five minutes, but uh, I hope you learned uh, a few things about conditional formatting. All right, have a good day.